Hey folks, welcome back to the channel again, nice to see you. Today we're going to be doing a bit of work on this tank. So this is the tank that I inherited of one of my neighbours. I've got rid of the lid. I'm going to use it as a kind of open top tank. It's not got any braces or anything on the top to it. It's a kind of poor man's aquascaping tank if you like. It's not super low iron glass and it's not got super invisible silicon or anything like that. It's a nice dual tank. It's um, a, a decent size, it's two foot by one foot by one foot. I've taken a few bits of uh, wood from other tanks and I've been messing about with some shapes. I kind of want to try a tank where I've got some of the scape protruding from the water and maybe try some mosses and things have growing out of the water. As you can see I've been playing around with the wood and I've kind of got um, some shapes that I like there. I'm going to make it my normal viewing position will be from back here or further back there looking at it at this kind of angle so I want the scape to or the, the substrate at least to start low on this side and work its way up to the back side there so as it kind of gives that illusion of a bigger tank than it actually is but also that will help raise this wood out of the, the tank a little bit more as well so it's not sitting on the bottom so pieces like this might be up this kind of height but we'll see how we get on. Um, the first thing I want to do is I'm going to be using Eco Complete because I purchased a big bag of that recently as the main substrate. But I want to kind of bulk that out and use this back part. So I'm going to reuse the gravel that came with this tank um, because it's it's full of mulm and all all that good nutritious stuff. And I'll build that up in the corner and make a kind of barrier type thing here. Give it a little bit of height there and then top it all off with a couple of inches of the Eco Complete. Um, which should give us some good, um, a good starting point to get some plants going. So let's see how far we get today. But the first thing I want to do is go and have a hunt downstairs and see if I can find some egg crate. Because this sloping action that I'm talking about here, sometimes that can be a bit of a pain. And over time, if you don't put any kind of barriers in the way or if you haven't planted it heavily enough, that slope can slowly over time start to level itself out and you end up with a flat aquarium. And I don't really want that. So if I can find some egg crate or something, I can layer that up there and that'll kind of hold it all together and keep it as a, a solid object that can't then float away. Uh, failing that, we've got some corrugated plastic that I can put in as little barriers or use the wood itself and some rocks um, to form that barrier. So let's see how we got on. I'll go and have a quick look and then I'll be back in a second. Well, I found some egg crate. Not as much as I thought I had, but I've kind of cut it into three sections. I think it'll work, so idea is put down some, put on a load of gravel, put down a little bit more, put on a load of gravel, put down the top bit and that kind of holds those strata together. Um, but we'll take this wood out and we'll add some gravel. So this is the corner that I want to build up. And here's some of my old gravel. And obviously this is white and black. I do not want this mixing with my good new stuff. But hopefully it'll bulk it out a little bit so I don't need to use as much of the actual eco-complete. So, get a little bit in there. And add my first bit of egg crate, which is too big. Okay, let's come back. I need to cut a little bit off here because I don't want this right at the front. Right, let's try that again. So that's much more what I want to get. So I've got a nice gap here. And you won't see any of this weird looking gravel or this bit. Perfect. And stick another layer on top of that. And then a couple of final bits there. That gives me a nice platform that I can put the wood on and it elevates it a good couple of inches, two or three if not more. I can then put my actual aqua soil in there. This is eco-complete. I have to be completely honest, I didn't actually buy this on purpose. 
I'd added a few different ones into my cart in Amazon and then obviously forgot to take that one out bought something else and this turned up but there you go so I'll just move this out the way Gonna smooth that out a little bit. The thing about Eco Complete is that it's wet. It's meant to have some kind of biological properties in it. So oh, there you go, it's given me a fairly decent sand bed, but if I didn't have that other stuff in there, I don't think that bag would have been enough to give me that slope that I'm after. And then obviously down the front, you don't want to see any of that black and white gravel, so that can be put down. That looks pretty good. It's good a time to any to test this substrate and see if it's any good. So the next phase will be to add the wood back in and see if I can get it the way I had it before. So I've fallen foul of this a few times. What I did was take a picture of how I like that set up so as I can use that as a reference. Because I often forget how I want it. So I'm fairly happy with that. Where I'm looking at, I can see different layers. Um, what I might do now is add in a few stones. I'm not sure whether I want to use my dragon stone for this that was in the previous tank, or whether just to use some strategically placed pebbles or not. Um, but what I'd like to do is kind of plug up some of these gaps that you see here, because that might come away a little bit there. So if I can get some stones in and around there, and that just gives it a little bit something more interesting to look at as well. Give a little bit of a more of an interest focal point. I've got quite a few stones, but I'm not sure that I want to use too many rocks, and I want to have the, the wood as the focal point. But like I say, it is good to give a little bit more. To draw the eye in. Kind of like that. I might try smashing up a bit of rock and having some really small pebbles around there. And um, just again, to, so you've got the big bits of wood, smaller rocks, and then even smaller pebbles and substrate. But I guess I'm kind of happy with that. And um, with for planting, I'm just going to go with um, some of the things that I've already got. I have bought a couple of extra plants, and obviously I got some plants when I got given this tank. So hopefully I've got enough to keep it going. Um, but what I might do is just leave it like this for a minute. Play around with this, make sure that I'm happy with it. Before we get on. Because I think I've created some nice little caves and some nice, depending on what angle you look at it from, you've got some little cut throughs, some little hollows, some little caves, some little eye lines. Um, yeah, I'm really quite happy with that the view from above. Now obviously we haven't talked about filtration yet or what particular plants we're going to get in there and also you've got plugs down here and wires. I'm just trying to get this nice. I'm hoping that the, the wires won't be an issue for the light because that will be covered by rocks or planting or wood. This I can hide quite easily down the back or down the side. Well, what do you think? I think that's pretty good. For filtration, I want something unobtrusive. And um, so I've got, obviously, I can have more of these. I've actually got another one. Uh, this one's Big Brothers. This is the Hang On Back Filter from All Pond Solutions. I've got the UV version of this, which I could use, but I think that might spoil things somewhat. Uh, I don't really want a sponge filter in there. 
I might go for a no filter setup. What do you think about that? So if I get enough plants in here, we might be able to get away with that. I've not the the killifish are in a tank, um, which this is replacing the tank that was here. It's got tons of plants and floating plants, and the waters remain perfectly stable for well, at least three months that I've not been running a filter on that tank. But again. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I'm open to ideas. I need you to leave me some comments down below. Because what we might be doing is putting in a group of white cloud mountain minnows in here. Or golden white cloud mountain minnows. Because I think they'll really pop against this dark substrate and dark rocks. Um, or could just keep it as the killifish tank and some cherry shrimp. Which again will look great in against these dark substrate. Or could even have both, I guess. I'm not sure the killifish would get on with the minnows, but I don't know. I've never tried it before. Hmm. Right, let's get some plants in here and see if we can't get it filled up with some water. So in terms of plants, we've got a few that I've already got. So I've got various um, crypts and anubias and things like that, which I can take cuttings from, and which I'll populate as well. But I bought, I was at the pet shop earlier, and I bought a couple of Tropica plants. Uh, so what have we got? We've got Lobelia cardinalis and Leliopsis brassinalis, or however you say it properly, which I shall break these up and put in a couple of places. And then we'll have a go at a carpet. So I've got three pots of the Eliocharis, Eliocharis, um, the stuff in the, the little pots that you break up, which I'll try and get a bit of a carpet going. I'm not sure whether or not I want to run CO2 on this tank or not, but we shall get these planted up anyway. Uh, put them in and put in a few more from various other tanks that I want to populate and see how we get on. left enough space just behind this bit wood here where I can put my little CO2 bell thing so that can just go in here So it's been running overnight and all day today. Kind of added a few more plants up here. I've added some just normal moss that we found. Well, not that normal because we found it on top of Mam Tor, um, one of the mountains around here. Um, so I've stuck that down there, a few succulents and things, um, just to give the above water a, bit, a little bit of something. Um, but yeah, planted out the rest and I've added, just for the time being, um, the Hang On Back filter. It's a UV filter. It's the Aquarium Hang On filter with UV 800HO Plus from All Pond Solutions. That I've had sitting around for months not doing anything. So I just wanted something to get some flow into the aquarium, make sure it's moving around there. I'll probably replace it with some kind of wave maker. or I'm just not entirely happy with it. I don't think it adds to the look too much. We've got the grass planted all down the front and spread out through the back, so hopefully that will start to carpet over time. Uh, and then there's various different plants plucked around in different places. I've got lots of kind of peek throughs and look throughs and swim throughs uh, created with the bits of wood going together. Yeah, and I think I'm quite happy with that. Take a closer look at some of the plants for you and then we'll add some fish. And I'm not sure what we're going to add yet, but we will by the time you see it.
think we can call that phase one complete. I'm not entirely happy with this light, I just don't think it's big enough or strong enough, but we'll give it a chance. Um, not entirely happy with the filter, I just think it's too big and too bulky, but we'll give it a chance. Not entirely happy with the CO2 solution. Um, but I'm just going to let things settle for a while. I'm going to add in the fish that were in this area before, so we've got the killifish, uh, the cherry shrimp, and I'll put them in, see how they like it. I do want to add some something else. I have been reading online about um, some people who have successfully kept the type of killifish that I've got, the Australia, with some white cloud mountain minnows, so I'm assuming they'll be the same with the gold white cloud mountain minnows. Um, so I think that would just give a little bit more movement in here. But we'll start off with the killifish and some cherry shrimp. Give that a little while and then we'll come back for an update later on. As always, if this is your first time here, please click on that subscribe button. We're almost at 6,000 so it'd be great to get over that hump soon. Um, uh, give me a like, give me a share, all that good stuff. And I'll leave you with a little bit of fish footage. But as always, see you next time. Bye.